What is going on, good people of YouTube? It's me, Chavez, back with another prize picks video for you, kind of, sort of. Today's Saturday, February 18, 2023, and we're talking about bank role management on prize picks. So, yeah, technically a prize picks video. First and foremost, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm simply sharing some friendly tips on things that have worked well for me, and I'm also going to share with you some things to avoid, mistakes I've made that have cost me money in the past. Um, so all that to come in this video. Really appreciate you stopping by the channel for a non-player prop video. And um, as always, I hope this video finds you doing well and in good spirits, great spirits. And without further ado, let's begin. So when we talk about bankroll, all this refers to is the amount of money that you're going to set aside to play your, your player props. Let's say player A has, uh, let's say player A has $1,200 in their actual checking, checking account, all right? And that player says, you know what? I wanna get into player props and I'm gonna put 7% uh, of my checking account in, uh, I'm gonna make a deposit of 7% of that over on prize picks. So $1,200 times 7% is $84. So that $84 is being deposited over on prize picks. And now that is your bankroll. For the sake of this video, let's say it is $72.27, which is the amount that I happen to have in my pay, in my prize picks account through credits and promo funds. So $72 is our bankroll today. That's our bankroll moving forward. And the idea here is to build this bankroll up so where we don't have to deposit money from our actual checking account ever again. So now that we have determined our bankroll, now we have to figure out how much of our bankroll we want to play today. Let's say for this video, we are going to play with 20% of our bankroll today. $72.27 times 20 is $14.45. Let's round it up to 15 and $15 is the amount of money that we are going to play with today. Now let's figure out how we're going to play that money. Where are we putting that $15? So a simple rule that I like to stick to that's helped me out is the 70-30 rule. 70% 70, 70 on your high floor plays, which are your two pick powers, and 30% on your high ceiling plays, like your five six man flexes. In daily fantasy sports, High floor is your double ups, uh, your 50-50s, right? And then your high ceiling are your, your large field tournaments, your GPP. In daily prop, you have to figure out what that high floor, high ceiling looks like. And I've determined your highest floor is your, your two pick powers. And your highest ceiling are your five and six pick flexes. So 10% of our $15 is going to get put on a two pick power. For the sake of this video, we've done our research and we love LJ Cryer and Jalen Wilson over on points today. Game environment is great. Research adds up. We're rolling with it. We're going to put our $10 on this two pick power. And if we win, it's going to get us $30. But since we like these two guys so much, we're going to add some more players to this based off our research. And we're going to create a six pick power. And we're going to put the remaining $5 or 30% of our daily allowance on this six pick flex. If we hit this six pick flex, it's $165. And if we hit, if we, if we hit this flex, that means we hit our power play too. So that's $195 on $15 entries. Pretty good day. So that's best case scenario. Worst case scenario, and this is why I say 70% on your high floor plays, 30% on your high ceiling. Worst case scenario is we only get three out of the six right. But let's say two out of those three players that hit for us were LJ Cryer and Jalen Wilson. So even though we did not hit our six pick flex, we still hit our two, man, our two pick power. And since we put 10 bucks on it, that got us 30. Minus the $5 that we lost on our six pick flex, $25. So profit is profit. Don't scoff at profit. And that is why that 70, 30 is so important. Now, maybe for some it's 80, 20, 90, 10. If you're a big baller shot caller, 
maybe it's 50 50 40 60 but whatever it is create the rule stick to it it's going to help you manage bankroll down the road sustain long-term profitability yes so first two tips for me to you my last tip is taking advantage of prize picks promos flex friday especially anytime there's a holiday anytime there's uh, like the Pixmas promos, the 12 days of Pixmas during December. Did you take advantage of that? Do you take advantage of Flex Friday? You should, and I'll tell you why. It's a great way to maximize your bankroll. Essentially, it's a protected play. You want to run this Flex Friday on a six pick flex, and you can do it up to $20. Your, your entry is protected up to $20. Now let's talk about what that actually means. So here are the only ways you can win on a six pick flex. You hit five, excuse me, six out of six you win. For today, it's 33X. I d uh, normally it's 25X, all right? You get five out of six, you two exit. You double your money. You get four out of six, you lose money, but at least you get 40% of that back. So on a $20 entry, I'm gonna get $8 back. At least I didn't at least I didn't lose it all. On a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you get three out of six right, you get zero back. But on Flex Friday, you get three out of six right, you will get that $20 back and deposit it back into your account in the form of promo funds. Take advantage of these promos, maximize your bankroll, maximize the potential, your earning potential here. Let's talk about some mistakes I've made in the past, things that I've done that have cost me money. Number one, emotional betting or rage betting. We've all had bad nights and we've all tried to chase a bad night with more bad picks. And what ends up happening is you lose more money. We lie to ourselves and say, I'll make up for it with this next pick. I'm going to put more money on this second pick so that I make up for the money that I just lost. This is a great way to destroy your bankroll. This is a great way to uh, just throw it all away, basically. Most of the time in these situations, you're playing slips based off emotion and not your research. And honestly, from personal experience, no good comes from that. But also something that's helped me is looking at the picks that didn't hit and figuring out what happened. Hey, I thought these picks were on point. What went wrong? Trying to figure out how you can get better versus betting more money is, is honestly the best thing you can do because it'll help you understand your actual research, how you can improve your research so you become a better researcher, you become a better player, and ultimately you become more profitable, right? So that's a mistake I've made in the past that that's cost me. The second mistake I've made, something that I've like done over and over again, is not withdrawing my money. So leaving my money in my account for too long. So I'll share this real, real quick with you. One time I won $1,000 on a five pick flex. So rather than taking that $1,000 and saying, I'm going to withdraw, um, I'm going to withdraw 85% of this $850 and use the other $150 and play prize picks instead of doing that. And like recreating a, a larger bankroll for myself, I left all that money in my account telling myself, Oh, when I get to $1,500, I'll make a withdrawal. Then I told myself, if I lose some of this money, it's okay because it's not really my money. It's it's house money. It's free money. There's no such thing as free money. You earned it. You earned it, right? So in no other scenario would you leave money on a table like that. If your place of employment offered you a thousand dollar bonus, more than likely you would take it versus saying, um, I'll come back next month to see if you if you can like double it. No, you're going to take the money. So in no other scenario would we leave that money on the table. But for, for this for this situation, uh, I did and it cost me and I ended up losing a lot of that money in in, you know, bad picks because I was playing recklessly. Even if you don't have a thousand dollars, even if you profit ten dollars every day for seven straight days, 
That's $70 profit. You take that $70 out. You do it again next week. You do it again next week. You do it again next week. And all of a sudden, you've withdrawn $280. That's $280 you made versus lost. And then, um, you know, in terms of withdrawing your money, there was a comment left on one of my uh, videos, but it's a pretty simple process. You know, if you if you you know drop your uh, drop down from your uh, little icon here, go to request withdrawal. It'll pull up your winnings in your account, and then it'll ask you to enter the amount that you want to withdraw. It has to be a minimum of ten dollars. Once you do that, you're sent an email to the email associated to your Prize Picks account. You're given a six a six digit pin, uh, and then you just come back to the Prize Picks page, enter that pin. And then um, click, you know, uh, click the withdrawal request button once that appears and then re-enter that pin. And then you're taken to another page. It'll ask you how you want your funds uh, deposited, whether you have your bank account attached or a credit card, whatever it is. And then once you finalize that, you should see your funds in that account within the next 24 to 48 hours. So it's a pretty simple process. Uh, You can ask questions in the comments if you have uh, if you need more clarity on that, but uh, from my experience with drawing my funds on Price Picks, it's been pretty, pretty simple process, uh, and I've had no no problems with it. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video: bankroll management tips and mistakes. Hopefully, this video serves you well and you gained a little bit from it. Drop me a comment below, letting me know if it has served you well. If you have any stories to share or any tips, you know, to add to this, I'd love to read those as well. Um, And again, thank you so much for all the support, the likes, the subs, the comments. It means a ton. And just helping this little channel grow every little bit bigger every single day, man, it means a lot. Uh, I've been having a blast providing this content for you. And again, hopefully it serves you well and you've been enjoying it as much as I've been enjoying making it. So until my next video, my next prize picks player props video, Chavez is.